Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm going to do a harvest. I'm going to take you with me to do another harvest. And what I want to explain is what I do does not mean it's right because I left my zucchini and I think there's some cucumber I got to go get too long. You don't want to leave it that long. So I'm going to go collect it, but I don't want to do them all. Here's the thing a lot of people don't talk about. I've got a zucchini down there. Oh my gosh, it probably weighs over five pounds. And I don't even know in here how much this one weighs. So I've got to decide how I want to do this. So here's something that some people probably know or don't talk about. Zucchini is a fruit that is containing seeds, which we all know. Now when you buy them small from the store, you really don't see much of the seeds. It's like a cucumber. You see a little tiny bit of seeds. But those are babies. It's like picking an unripe fruit, which is perfectly fine to pick them, as you would say, unripe. I mean, you don't want them ripe because you won't be able to eat them. But the thing is with them is it gets harder to use for some people when they have a lot of seeds. Now, I don't have a problem with the seeds. Um, I just scrape them out like you would do with a pumpkin. But you, with the average pumpkins you buy for like Halloween don't taste that good usually. But these taste good no matter what. So even if they're too big, and even if they have a bunch of seeds, still use them. Just split them, take the seeds out, and then do whatever you want to do with them. Sometimes I grate them up and I make like my mom used to make a lot of spinach and potato patties. Well, I use zucchini, grated up zucchini. And I put it in enchiladas, I put it in lasagna, I put it into any casserole type thing. Um, if you want it to kind of disappear, if you've got kids and you don't want it, you know, don't really want to know there's squash in there, when you grate it, it will cook into whatever you've got cooking in there. You've got other vegetables, it takes on the flavors of the other vegetables. If you've got meat, it almost takes on the flavor of the meat that's in there. So I like grating it up and putting it into my enchiladas, different casseroles, as well as lasagna. You don't even know, I don't know what's there. Gary said he knows. I don't know what's there. But here's the thing that I wanted to talk about. I don't know if I want to pick both of those large ones. And the reason is, I already picked a whole bunch and I got a house full is when I first pick it, it's not always, but generally, the seeds are still small and soft. So you can actually cook it with the seeds. So you could slice it up, fry it, do whatever you want to do with the zucchini, and you don't have to worry about the seeds because the seeds, even though they're in there, have not started to progress and turn into something that could possibly grow yet because it's still on the mother plant. As long as your squash, let's talk about zucchini, as long as the zucchini is attached to the plant and the stem is green, it's still green, and it's feeding off the plant, the zucchini is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's concentrating right now on growing as big as it can so the fruit will sustain its babies for let's say the winter. I mean, it all goes back to Mother Nature. Everything, if you think about it, goes back to Mother Nature. Isn't that wonderful? So that big zucchini I picked oh, a week or so ago, that was, maybe it's two weeks now, it was six pounds. When I picked it that day and went into the house, I should have done a video on that. I don't think I did. The seeds were so soft, you didn't even know they were there. You could pick them up, eat them. I cooked it with the seeds. I didn't have to worry about taking the seeds out or anything because the fruit had not put its energy yet into developing the seeds into real seeds that would turn into a plant because it was still living off the mother plant. So if I pick both of these and I store them, even a week, the seeds will start to become viable and they will start to harden up inside and then is when I would have to scrape it out. That's why I have to make a decision as to do I want to pick one and maybe make some zucchini bread or grate it up and do something with it. I haven't started to freeze any. I prefer to freeze it for the winter if I don't think I'm going to have zucchini. So I haven't done that yet. But when you start to store it is when now the fruit changes and it starts to feed the baby's inside. It's kind of like a chicken egg. If you take a chicken egg and it's first laid, it's just a yolk, right? Even though there might be an embryo that could possibly start to grow, it's still just a yolk. 
but when you put it under the proper conditions, which would be 99.9 .9 or whatever, 100 degrees, the baby chick, the embryo, starts to grow at that point. If you leave the egg sitting in a cool area and it's nowhere near 100 degrees, let's say you leave it at 75 degrees, that baby, that embryo in the egg will never grow. It just won't grow because it's not under the right conditions. Well, that goes to your fruit and your vegetables as well, especially, we're talking about zucchini today, especially the zucchini. So if I pick both of those big squash today and I don't use one of them, let's say, which I won't be using both, Let's say I don't use them for a couple weeks, then I will have to deal with the seeds. And that's the, that's the only thing, which is a good and bad thing. Because what it does in nature is the fruit would get bigger and bigger and bigger, which can hinder the plant from growing any other fruit during that time. It's still growing more than one, but it will grow a few. At that point, what it's doing now is it's trying, let's, let's try to explain this. It's trying to make that fruit as big as possible. Then as the plant starts to die back, it's, we're going, let's say, into fall, which we're not, we're in summer. But let's say it's going to fall, the plant starts to die back, the stem will start to brown, the plant will die back, and now the fruit can sustain that squash, the, all the seeds, throughout the whole winter until spring. And it's holding on to those babies, but now it's actually turned into an incubator. So it's incubating the seeds, which the seeds start to grow, and they'll become hardened off inside, and but they won't grow. They will not grow until spring comes, and in nature, the fruit would start to rot because it's pulled all the nutrients out of the big fruit itself. And at that point, when the fruit rots, it will go into the ground and the strongest seeds will survive or they'll get spread around by animals coming and grabbing pieces of the fruit and dragging it around and then you would technically have zucchini growing everywhere, but it doesn't really work that way. But that's basically how nature would work. So that's the problem. Do I pick both these squash? That's a dilemma. If I pick both the squash off the plants, they'll continue to grow and I don't want them to stop growing. So I probably will and I'll just deal with the seeds. But when you want to not have a seed issue and you have a big squash, plan on using it and cutting it open that day. As soon as you cut it open, Usually you won't even have to deal with the seeds and you can just leave it in your food and it will cook up fine. It's healthy anyways. The seeds are good. If you, I personally don't like hard seeds in my food, so I scrape them out. Gary doesn't mind. But at this point, if I take it off now, and since it's got a good green stem on it and it's still feeding off the mother plant, the odds are the seeds won't be that bad. So think about it. If you're picking an oversized zucchini, Pick it and pick it the day you plan on using it. At least once you cut it, the seeds won't grow anymore. Well, you know what? No, that's not true. I did cut one in half, sit it somewhere, forgot about it for a week, went back to use it, and the seeds got hardened off inside because it, the seeds started to draw off the fruit. So you want to be able to use it. But that's just something to think about, something I haven't really seen anybody talk about, that as long as it's feeding still off the mother plant, you won't have a lot of heavy seeds in a lot of your fruit when it comes to zucchini. We're only talking zucchini right now. So um, just something to think about. So if I want to just pick one, and let's say I do decide to make, oh, I'm going to make a big casserole that will last me a couple days. It'll give me a couple days off to do a video. And maybe I'll make some zucchini bread and get rid of it all. Maybe I'll even cut some up and throw it in the freezer. Then I would want to pick that one today. And then if I want to go back, let's say in a couple days and make another zucchini, I'm going to be sick of zucchini. I can pick it off the second one in a couple days and hopefully the seeds hadn't started to develop because that plant is not dying off. It is still producing well. So it's something to think about. It's when you store it, the seeds will stay alive and the seeds will get bigger. There's always an exception to the rule, <laughs> but just keep that in mind because all those squash that I picked and I cut right away, the seeds had not started to develop. They were there, but they were soft and you can eat them and cook them and they would just cook into the vegetables. So let's go get a harvest and then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Okay, so now we're going to get the big one. I'm still deciding if I want to get the other one. I'm going to take the tool down, which has done its Great job. Right now we'll just put it here. I got my glue. 
gloves. Oh wow. Now I gotta get in here. I could take the tool down, but I'm gonna do it this way. If you wanna look real quick, you wanna bring the camera over here, I can show how I'm gonna cut it. I don't know how well it will cut. And I wanna start it and then I'll twist it. I prefer to do a twist, but if I start it, there we go, twist it, all right, this one's bigger than the last one, you do not leave them this big, you don't need to make them this big, because it's, oh, stick that in, it slows them down on growing, but here it is, it's stuck. So now we'll go cut this thing up. And I think I'll leave the other one for the next day because the other one's almost this big. Because I don't want the seeds to get really big and hard and maybe I can get rid of this one and start cooking this one. Scales on the best, let me see. Oh my. Looks like it's reading eight pounds, 13, ounces. Eight pounds, 13 ounces? I'll check that. It's hard to read because eight pounds, 13 ounces. We're going to cut this. This is the one that I just picked. Okay, let's get the scale out of here. Gosh, I can barely lift this thing. Now we want to see on this one how many seeds are in here because the plant was still green. I'm gonna use this for dinner tonight. It will cut really easy because it's still very green. In other words, it has not started to dry. Let's see what the seeds look like. They're chewable. Right now, I can leave them in or take them out. See how they just break in your hand? Completely chewable. It actually tastes really good. So I have the option to leave them in. And this is what I was talking about. Ah, so good. These seeds are all, so they look big, but they're completely soft. It tastes like a vegetable right now. So if you don't like them, you can take them out. You probably won't be able to grow them. Some might grow, but they're really not developed for growing. This is at the thickest part, but they're complete. I'm chewing them. That's why I wanted to show you. They're completely soft. Com completely soft. They just mash in your fingers. So you can leave them and cook with it, or you could just spoon it out, whatever works. In a few days though, as it sits, it's no longer on the mother plant. You will not be able to crack the seeds. Just smash it like that. It'll become very hard, like a pumpkin seed. See how soft they are? You will not, at that point, be able to do that. Then, at that point, I take it out, for sure. And I don't cook with it. See, they just, they're soft. Very, very soft seeds. So this is why I like picking the big ones and using them right away. Even in this part, this one, it's going to start, the, the seeds are going to start to pull because the seeds are attached to the membrane. Looks like spaghetti squash, see? They're attached and they're feeding off that plant. Now the seeds know that they're no longer being fed. See the string? They're no longer being fed from the mother plant. Now they're going to be fed from this and it will drain all the, the um, fluid the moisture out, I should say, of the zucchini and with these will harden up. But these are completely edible. I will leave them in whatever I cook because you won't even know you're eating seeds because they just mush away, literally mush away. And that's why you want to pick it when it's this big and use it right away. And now, since I'm not using the whole thing, all you have to do is just turn it upside down and put it on a plate and I can use this for the next three, four, five days. It doesn't matter. But as time goes on, 
those seeds will harden up. And here is the reason why I didn't pick the other one that was out front in the garden. This is my deck garden and you've seen that and there's more zucchini growing over there. Look at that! And now I've got more zucchini starting on the other side. Since I put that little compost in place, the traveling one, you can pick up and move there. But here's zucchini, and I think there's more in the house that I've been picking. And what I, again, want to explain is when you first pick it, even this one, this one's about six pounds. I just weighed it. The seeds are soft when you first pick it. As long as the umbilical cord is on a viable green stem and it's still growing off the plant, the seeds will be soft. That's how it usually works. The moment this dries or gets brown and you cut it off or the plant starts to die back, immediately what happens is the skin will start to toughen. Think of the pumpkins in the USA when you're buying pumpkins for Halloween. It's got a tough skin. Right now, if you wanted to peel it, you can just take a carrot peeler and easily peel this. You can still use it with the skin because the skin is soft when it first comes off the plant. After a few days, the skin toughens and since it's no longer on the mother plant, it, the seeds are gonna get hard, the seeds are gonna start to mature and be ready for the next season for it to grow. You could even grow it this season if you took it off like now. These have been off for a while. The skin is starting to get hard. Once it gets hard, I'll be honest, it is hard to peel with a carrot peeler. And a lot of times I just have to bake it and use the inside. Depends on how long you've had it sit. But the skin is what protects the seeds and then the seeds feed off the fruit inside. And that's what's going on. Those are cucumbers I picked. See, this one started to turn yellow. It's ripening. So what I have to do on this one, I'm going to pickle it. I'm actually going to peel it when I pickle it because it's been on too long. It's starting to turn yellow because it's ripening. Kind of like eggplant turns yellow as it's ripening. Most of the purple ones are not ripe. It's an underripe fruit. But going back to zucchini, again, it's going to toughen up. I'll show you something real quick. Here's a squash from last year. It was, I think it was a hybrid zucchini, so it, it was colorful. It's like a gourd. See how the skin became hard and it protected the seeds inside? Those seeds from a, over a year ago are still good. I could plant the seeds. I'm not going to right now. I've got enough. But see how it protects the seeds? That's what this is. This is a shell protecting the seeds. It's going to get hard. So if you've got a lot of zucchini, pick it the day you're going to start to cook it. Now even this one that I put on the plate, and look what happens when you put it on the plate. Let's see if you can see this. It's weighs a ton. See how the plate is now attached? Creates like a suction cup a lot of times to protect the seeds inside. Isn't that cool? The thing is I've got to use this within the next two days because the seeds are now going to start to harden off and even the skin will start to get hard. It may not get as hard as these that are not cut right away, but it's still going to go through the process because it has been picked off the plant. This of course will turn brown, but the point is it's not attached. There's no umbilical cord anymore and now it wants to get its seeds to grow and that's what the whole thing is. So I hope I've given you some ideas. I've, this is the reason I'm not picking the other one. I have just way too many squash right now to deal with. So I'm not going to pick any more yet. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these. If you wanted to grow some of them this year still and you're in an area where you can, just have it sit for a while off the plant to make sure, give it a week or two so the seeds will start to develop and hopefully be viable enough to put in your garden. So I hope I gave you some ideas and thoughts on how to use it and keep it, you know, when it's fresh and know that the skin can be used easily and whatever you do with it. I'm going to pickle some of this. If I think the skin is too tough, I will just peel it and then I will pickle it. My pickling is so easy. It's just basically salt and dill. That's all it is. But I can pickle it, freeze it. I don't can. Um, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I'll be cooking a lot of zucchini. Probably won't want to see zucchini for a while. I hope I have given you guys ideas and thoughts. This is why you cannot buy a big zucchini in a store. Because people will expect 
if they went and bought one this size that they could eat the whole thing and it'd be soft inside. They wouldn't expect it to be more like a pumpkin because you cannot store these and keep them soft. It, and that's why you will never find really this size at a regular grocery store. The small ones don't get hard. They didn't develop the seeds inside. They don't have that message, get hard, protect the seeds. There's no seeds to protect. And if it has no seeds in it to protect, it won't go through the process of getting the hard skin and then developing the hard seeds. There's no message going on inside the plant or the fruit to do that. But even this size and smaller, some of them, they will still kick in and try to protect the plant or in the seeds, I should say, protect the seeds and they will toughen up the skin and the seeds will grow. That's why in the store they're very, very small. They're what, six, eight inches, skinny, young. They're actually about this size. This size has no seeds, so they're not trying to protect anything. This one could. If you pick this one and let it sit, there's a possibility this one would get hard because there may be some seeds in the bottom, in the base of it, that maybe could be good so the fruit itself would start to harden up, the, the skin, it would toughen, and then at that point you would have a tougher you know, fruit, vegetable, and um, nothing wrong with it, but that's not what most people want. So I hope I've given you thoughts and ideas on how to use the zucchini, something that a lot of people don't talk about. If you want to just be able to cut it up, bake it, cook it, roast it, whatever you want, not worry about the seeds. If not, take the seeds out. So I hope I gave you some ideas on when or what to do with your squash. If you've left some squash that were too big and just an idea, pick it the day you want to eat it and cook it. Have a great day and don't forget, to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. So many tomatoes this year. I can't believe it.